Okay, so today we're working with some mobile jet oil and we're going to measure the, the water content of the mobile jet oil. And we're going to draw some into our syringe to start the process. So it's quite simple. We're going to take about two mils. Air bubbles out. So next we're going to do. Next we're going to we're going to wear a syringe next with a four place analytical balance. And I like to tear the balance to zero, so I have a weight of zero. Because uh, you enter two weights with the Carl Fisher, so we're going to enter zero, and uh, and then we'll put in our tear weight, or next weight, I should say, weight two. Okay, so so here we have the Aquapel three. Uh, it's set up uh, right now. It's running a dual reagent. Uh, this is a coolometric Carl Fisher titrator. Uh, it has a power button, it has a stir bar speed dial, it's got the readout, it gives us our drift, it gives us our counting moisture in micrograms, and it gives us our ready mode. We have our cell button, which we turn on when we want the pre-titration to begin, and then of course we have our start button for starting the test. In addition, we have a simple but effective uh, keypad that sits on top. Uh, it's not overly complicated. There are a few, you know, your number pad, and you've got some 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 key points here: your parts per million, or percent. Uh, w over W is if you're using weight. Uh, if you're using VSG, that's specific gravity. And really, to start a test, you tell it you want ppm. You tell it you're going to use weight. It, it'll you press enter. And it's going to ask for a weight. We'll enter it. We'll inject our sample, and then it'll ask for a finishing weight when the test is done. Also, it's got a built-in printer. And the printer paper goes right in here, and it's kind of nice because there's no external devices connected to it. You can kind of move this around. It doesn't take up a lot of bench space. Easy to operate. We, we actually say this is great for non-technical operators. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and, st and we're going to run a test. So uh, here we go. So we'll take our syringe off of our balance. I'm going to press PPM. W over W. It's going to ask for a to for a total weight. Uh, we're we're going to start off with 0.0 because .0 we we tore the balance. Press enter. Okay, so we're ready to run a test. So I'm going to inject the sample, ensuring to get the needle into the liquid, so all the sample goes into the reagent. And then I'll press the start button. And here we go. Press it in. Inject the sample, press the start button, pull the syringe out, and reweigh the syringe immediately. Because this the, the weight that we're going to see here will be the weight of our sample. In this case it's 1.9744 grams, which is about it's close to two milliliters. So right now you can see that it's counting in micrograms and when it finishes it's going to prompt us to put in this finishing weight and when we do it will it'll print out a result. And that's the Aquapel 3 and uh, we'll wait for it to finish with the result. Okay so now the test has ended. It's taken about oh I'd say a minute and a half. Uh, and it's asking for the tear weight. So the test is finished and, and based upon the weight on our scale we're going to enter that number so we're going to put in uh, it's asking for the tear weight so 1.9742 and we'll hit the enter button and there we go. We have a result and the test is finished. And we have a result. And it's that simple.